Guys, I have a bit of a confession. I don't watch a lot of gun stuff on YouTube or GunTube as some of us, of course, call it. There are truthfully a small number of creators that I know and a very, very smaller number that I routinely watch. When I say this, I'm not trying to be a jerk. Maybe I am, but I'm not trying to be. I'm just trying to be honest. Mostly for me, GunTube is a place where I go to learn how to disassemble a firearm, fix something that broke, or maybe install a new part that I broke with occasionally catching some breaking news or some reviews or something like that. But when one of my favorite creators, Paul Harrell, spoke up about his health problems some months back, I took notice. When I heard of his worsening condition, I sat up. And when the news started to turn dire, well, I started speaking up about it a little bit. First with a community post, and then later when there was a glitch in the matrix and someone gave me access to a microphone in front of a bunch of gun tubers at the Gundy's. Just wanted to uh, give a shout out to, I know he's not here, but Paul Harrell, who is under the most somber circumstances. So thank you to Paul Harrell for everything you've given us. When I saw on social media that administrative results was calling for, in his words, a crusade to push Paul's channel to 1 million subscribers, it felt right. Now let me be clear, my channel is relatively new and completely inconsequential compared to Paul's or administrative results and many other great channels out there. I don't pretend to be in a position to really offer much of any help pulling the wagon, but Let's try anyway. Why should you care though? Why do I care? After all, candidly, I've never even met the guy. I've never spoken to him over the phone or even email. I think this is why. Because I've spent a lot of time trying to figure out why do I care? I mean, it's a guy who makes videos online. You know, I I, candidly, I I don't spend much time thinking about when, uh, you know, an actor passes away or something like that. In a world full of histrionics that's low on authenticity, I think Paul's shown everyone that you can be honest, forthright, and people will find you. When you click on a Paul video, you know that you're in for (laughs) likely 20 plus minutes of dense information with rich content that has been very well thought out and tested, likely to the detriment of probably some fruits, maybe some meats, possibly some old pieces of clothing, maybe a water jug or two. And you may be able to argue or push back on that methodology and how applicable might it be to the street. But the basic thrust of what Paul was laying out backed by the sheer force and logic of reasoning, as only Paul could explain, was irrefutable. Whether it's caliber choices, caliber testing, or of course, a rebuttal video, it is always something that you just had to watch multiple times to gain everything that you could from it, or at least someone like me, I had to. And you always walked away both more informed, And frankly, sometimes just better. But perhaps the most important part was how you felt like and how you feel like Paul was talking to you through the camera, directly to you. I think that was possible only by his authentic character. That's impossible to miss. I've never had the pleasure of speaking with Paul, as already mentioned, but I... And I suspect many of you feel like through the many hours we spent watching him shoot stuff, diagram stuff, and apologize for inadvertent gunshots going off in the background because he's at a public range, we've gotten to know him. It's one of the funny things about social media in general, and maybe YouTube in particular, is that we develop something approximating a relationship with the people that we routinely watch and follow. You can probably learn something about yourself 
hopefully something positive by looking at the type of people and channels that you follow. It's just like you learn something about yourself about what books you read, what magazines you read, what music you listen to, and all that kind of stuff. What channels and books and movies, how are they oriented? What values sit atop their value hierarchy? Are they oriented towards fact or fiction? Knowledge or emotion? Do they aim up or do they aim down? I'm proud to say that Paul Harrell is easily one of my longest subscribes on my personal YouTube account. I am proud of what that says about me. And I know that when I run into someone who starts talking about Paul Harrell videos or making some sort of obscure reference to them, we'll probably get along. Perhaps the real mark of Paul is this. I don't think making a million subscribers would honestly mean all that much to Paul or his family. Maybe that's why both myself and I know many others admire and respect the man. Maybe that means that at the end of the day, if you really think about it, I and perhaps subconsciously others, we're not trying to do this for Paul. Maybe the selfish parts of us, we're trying to do this for ourselves with this whole call to action because we're trying to point everybody to the way that we should be, both on YouTube, as well as in public, and of course, our private lives. This is what we should be aligned towards. This is what we should be collectively aiming for. Folks, if you've enjoyed your time here, please consider heading over to Paul Harrell's channel and give it a watch and a subscribe. At the time of taping this video, he has about 840,000 subscribers. In his most recent upload, Paul commented that it may be the last time that we see him on camera. Okay, everyone, my apologies for sitting here like this for the conclusion portion of today's presentation. I know this looks lame, but the reality is I am lame, and this might be the last time you ever see me on camera. So time is short. Please head over there and do it now if you can. I think that you will like what you find. While I know that many of you join me in praying for a miracle for Paul, I hope that those of you who are not yet subscribers to his channel will join me in pushing for us all to recognize the lion in our midst, a man who did it right and is an example for us all to follow. It appears that his brother Roy will be taking over his YouTube channel, at least for the foreseeable future, and of course we wish him well and look forward to everything that he's going to be giving us in the years to come. If there's anything that I can do for Roy or Paul, I hope that they know that we're all cheering for both of them and they should never be afraid to reach out. Paul, your 407 videos seem far too short. <clears throat> You're one of the few <clears throat> You're one of the few that I have watched the same videos over and over and over again. Thank you for everything that you've given us. Take care.